Mm-hmm. Hold on. Recording. This is when I need a tissue. <sighs> had some nasty snacks. I couldn't help it, I had to. Oh well. About to get dirtied up anyway. Yeah, I had to, man. Oh shit. That's a birdie here in the background. It's a crow. It's a whatever they call them things. Birds tripping. Excuse me. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Went to Walmart, bought me some snack with no juice or nothing like that. How much was it? Three dollars. Watching myself. Trying to create a better uh, habit of spending my money. Trying to spend it on the most important things, you feel me? Not just anything. It was a struggle getting up right now. But I got up. Anyway, man. I usually used to jump over that, but anyway, um, yeah, I have 20 minutes, 20 minutes, I had to get out the way people see the way they move and they're thinking, oh, he's too comfortable, we can get no, yeah, I gotta get up and stretch my legs a little bit, because you know, If you stay out of place for too long, this is when this vultures come and start scavenging and start eating and shit. So you just gotta, you know, get up and move a little bit. Cause these niggas love an easy target, I tell you. They love an easy target. Yes, they do. They just love an easy target. When you fight back, they be like, oh, there's something wrong with him. See that? Trying to block out the noise and everything else every time you start speaking your truth. But yeah, they love easy target, man. You got to stay still. Niggas fight you in your sleep. They don't want you to be up and fighting back. You feel me? That's too much for them. They'd rather have you. They, they want to... A moving target is a, a target is a hard target to hit. A still target is an easy target to shoot. You feel me? So they love a still target. Like they just love it. They'll fight you in your sleep, nigga. You you sleeping? You better not be rolling around in your sleep. Nah, that's too hard for them. You gotta be just still. Just that's what they like. They just like this the easiest thing. The weak, the weak, weak, weak. Anyway, that wasn't in the conversation. Oh, maybe it was. <laughs> Yesterday, we spoke about about teens leaving home a little too soon, which is not a good look. You feel me? I spoke from the female perspective because that's what I did. I dealt with in my past, and still do deal with 
in my current situation. I only like females and females only. And that's that. Accept people for who they are. It's funny how people want me to accept them for who they are, but you can't accept me for who I am. You feel me? Today we're gonna to talk about acceptance. How do we accept people for who they are? There's a lot of situation that's going on right now, you know, with the uh, vaccine and people's, and how people want to be viewed in the world, wearing masks and people not wanting to wear their masks and everything else like that. How do we accept these decisions by others and not take it personal upon ourselves? you feel me? One person's decision is that person's decision. As long as it's not interfering with your own life, I think you should respect that person's decision. Just like that person have accepted your decision to be whoever you want to be. You feel me? We're gonna jump right into the Kyrie situation. Kyrie Ivan is from the Brooklyn Nets and he's a little hesitant to take uh, the vaccine because you know New York City passed that mandatory that you cannot work in a business place if you haven't taken the vaccine and everything else like that. So Kyrie said he needs time. Well, he didn't, he just said, no, I just need time to think about it and everything else like that. And there's reports here from here to uh, Blangadash, you feel me niggas? Everybody else got a story to tell about that situation. So Kyrie came out yesterday and said that he, it's like all those stories are just fake news. He still just, he just need time. And I feel like, yo, if somebody needs time to make such decision, which is a life-changing decision, I think that we should allow the person to take time. Take as much time as you want. You feel me? What is it to us? Why are we so mad at him for not wanting to take the vaccine? That's because we selfish in, in, the, in the way we view him because we wanted to see him play basketball. And we like, yo, hurry up, man. We want to see you on the court. And it's like, this person, this person has a personal decision to make. But yet, we want to rush him because we want to get to see him. We want to see him so bad dribble a basketball. And we're not even thinking about his mental state of mind, what he's thinking, his family and everything else and how it's going to impact him. We so selfish in our approach. I'm talking about the media and people and every individual who's rushing him. You feel me? It's like, yo, let that man take his time. You feel me? Everybody has, that time can be from here to the ending of the season or the, it could just be before the season begin. I think the season begins already. But let that man take his time. You feel me? Let's respect other people's decision when it comes to this topic. It's a very sensitive topic. It's an unprecedented time that we in. So why are we rushing people to do something that we don't, we all not even sure of it. They keep saying the scientists said, the scientists don't know nothing, man. It's been this damn near three years and we still have the same information as we had in the beginning. There is nothing new. You feel me? There's really nothing. It's not like they came out and said, well, we increased the vaccine. It's not, it's not 99% accurate. No, they didn't say none of that. It's still the same vaccine. They didn't improve it, my nigga, you feel me? So it's like people are rushing you and even the government don't even know what's going on. What are you rushing people for? You feel me? That's, that's what I have a problem with. Is the fact that they're rushing people to something that they don't even know that much about. It's like, you know, if, they, if it's mandatory for the average person, most people are going to think about their family and be like, damn, I really need this paycheck and everything else like that. So guess what? I'm going to take the jab. You feel me? Bomb. There's nothing wrong with that. The gate is open. Interesting. Please leave me alone. You feel me? There's nothing wrong with that. You feel me? If somebody decide, like, you know what? I'm going to put my family in front of me. I got to bring the money home and everything else like that. Although I'm not sure about what is going on with this particular vaccine. Guess what? My family, taking care of my family is more important. Me making this money is more important. So I'm going to go and get it. And that's a decision that they want to make. Some people can use the same excuse to be like, well, my family is more important to me. So I don't know what I'm going to be putting in my body and it's going to jeopardize that. Da -da -da, so I'm not going to take it. So it's like, you know, we got to respect both decisions. We have to accept people's decision for what they accept. You know what I mean? And we also, we also have to accept the business decision as we walk into a business place. If a business says that, yo, you need to take a jab before you can come into my 
into in, before you can work for me then guess what we have to respect that too you feel me it's just that we all have our own internal decisions to be made that's all we just all have our own internal decision to be made we cannot we can't argue with a business when a business made those mandatory he's like yo man if you want to work for me this is what you got to do but I'm, I, now you have a decision to be made you feel me now you can choose a well i'm gonna do this because I, I need the money or b well i think my health is more important i'm not sure you feel me it's that it's that simple and guess what nobody's going to judge you for it nobody should judge you for it because it was something that you accepted to do and somebody accepted you and somebody else accepted the other person's decision and that's it you feel me that's just that's just when it comes to the jab part that's the jab is basically the vaccine people use that code whatever but it's like that's it like if if you don't want to take it as on you if, i'm not gonna blame you like why should i like you feel me i know it's a tough decision and people who want to wear face masks and don't want to wear face masks if i walk into a business and a business required me to wear a face mask guess what i have to wear a face mask like it's that simple you feel me if i don't want to worry then guess what i can't get i can't go into that business that's it my nigga like it's not that hard bro i'm not gonna you shouldn't argue with somebody but this is America and stop punching. No, the business require you to do that. And so if you don't want to do that, guess what? This is the United States of America, like you said. Guess what? You can go to another business that does not that has a little more lenient on requiring you to wear a face mask. That's all, my nigga. You feel me? Accept people have to accept people's decision. It's, it's out of respect. People do not want to respect other people, but yet want to enforce themselves onto other people. You feel me? You can't do that. And that's and this is just on the topic of vaccine. I'm not even we're not even going to the topic of what I've been through my my own self. When people try to tell me I'm something, when I'm I'm telling them no, that's not who I am. I'm not that person. You can't force me to be something else. I don't care what you inject or whatever you try to do into me and all that. No. I'm telling you who I am as a person. You feel me? You have to accept me for who I said I am, and I accepted you for who I said and you said who you say you are. That's it. You made your decision. Now you got to lay in it. I made my decision. Now I got to deal with it. That's it. You feel me? That's a whole nother topic. You feel me? We could go through different concepts and different topics of it. And it's going to come out to the same conclusion. We have to accept people for what they choose to be and what they choose to uh, align themselves with. Plain and simple. It's not hard at all. It's not rocket science. It's just that the problem is people always want to look down upon other people and feel like they can enforce their will on other people and tell other people what to do. That's where the problem comes. You feel me? You can't tell somebody else what to do when you have, when nobody else is telling you what to do. You feel me? You had the decision to make your own mind up. You feel me? If I go and take the vaccine today, that's on me. I'm not, nobody pressured me to do anything else. If the job said, yo, you got to take the vaccine today. Well, guess what? And I do it. That's on me. You feel me? That's on me. I'm not. That's it. Like if I decide not to, then that's on me too. It's a. You have to accept it for what it is. Don't look down upon somebody because that person does not want to be something. Or it's, just, it's all about is that narcissistical that controlling factor of it. And when they can't control you, they try to manipulate you to control you. And when all those things don't work, then that's when they start to attack you and and get other people to come together to attack to attack you. And they spread lies and false rumors about you and everything else like that. And everybody else who believes it fight as hard as them now. You feel me? Now they got an army. You feel me? And it's like, I've, I've been going through this. That's why I say, yo, you just got to accept people for who they are. Just because I disagree with you doesn't mean that we got to go to war. The best war is the one that was not started. You feel me? Let me repeat that for that knucklehead over there. The best war, the best war fought is the one that was never fought. You feel me? That's that's true intelligence. When people come to the table and be like, all right, you go this way, I go that way. You're like, no, I want to go that way. Okay, you can go that way, I go this way. You feel me? I'm just not going, I refuse to fight you in that sense, but I know who I am. So regardless of what way I go, I know that I will make something out of it. You feel me? This is this people who want conflict will always find a reason not to be agreeable. They will always find a reason not to be acceptable. 
they will always find a reason to fight the opposition. They will always do that. They will always, they will, they will always hold on to the little thing. It could be the littlest thing. 99% could be good. It could be 1% or probably 0.1%. And they'll hold on to it. It's like, yo, you just gotta accept people for who they are, man. That's that. You just gotta accept people for who they are. You can't be mad when things, when you you generate this kind of hate, and other things come about, and you forget that you was the one who started it in the first place. That's what they want. You feel me? Create confusion. It's narcissist at its highest highest form. Almost psychopathic. You feel me? key word is acceptance let's accept people for their decision respect people and give them the time that they need you feel me there's no need for somebody to rush and make a decision that's why more people are quitting this is the report came out i think this said i'm not even exaggerating bro from 4 million to 40 million quit their job in august that's what the report came out it was the highest you feel me I think 4 to 40 million. I'm not even exaggerating. Sheesh. Nice. Nice. You feel me? That's a lot of people who quit in their job because they pe cause, cause they forcing them to do something and they will they just like, no, I'm gonna walk away from something. You feel me? It's like you let's just let's accept people for who they are and what they are. You feel me? So if it's, if a person feel uncomfortable with same situation, guess what? Back away from me, be like, ah, right, you feel uncomfortable, I give you time. That's it. And that's with any situation, not just the vaccine. That's with any situation, you feel me? When you block somebody from moving forward, it is an, it is defined as harassment. You can't stand in somebody's way and tell them they can't, and, and don't allow them to move forward. In the workplace, that would be a harassment. You, you be considered as harassment. If you touch them, that's a physical harassment. And any other thing, it'll be any form of harassment. But you, you stopping somebody from moving forward, that's an harassment. Or if you stopping somebody from accepting, or if you stopping somebody from making up their mind, from making their mind, and you keep haunting them, and you keep, you like it's just you just not accepting well, well, what they, the decision is, and you keep you know harassing them. It, it is harassment basically. But not accepting somebody's decision for their own is harassment. You feel me? If you don't accept it, yeah, you you that's in a form of a harassment. I just want people just to love love yourself enough to understand that look, man, that person's that's that nigga mine. You feel me? That's 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 his own mind, that's his body. You feel me? Your your mind. Your body is part of your mind. You feel me? We're not even gonna go through that description. But that's that man's mind, you feel me? Accept him for what he, he sees about himself. That's it. Just like I would accept anybody else. If you want to be a man that wears skirts, that's on you, my nigga. You feel me? That's on you. It's just that in today's age, we see that as, whoa, a man wearing skirts is a little offish. But men were wearing skirts first before women started wearing skirts in the, in the, in the olden days. But we are prisoners of the moment. So today, women wear skirts. So that's why we're not, we not supposed to be quick to judge people because we don't know the history of where skirts came from. You feel me? But yet, if you look down upon a man for wearing skirts and be like, ew, that nigga is this, he's dead, he's sick. And no, man, a lot of men used to wear skirts and women were not wearing skirts. The role revert, not the role, the, I guess the clothing reverse where men started wearing pants and women started wearing skirts. Maybe 120 Five, 300 years from now The road's gonna reverse again And the people gonna be like He's nasty Why is he wearing pants <laughs> You feel me Yeah I'm just saying though You feel me I'm just saying like Shit changes You feel me You can do the Google search yourself By the way You know what I mean Things change man You just can't accept pe just, just, just accept people's decision For the things that they make I'm not gonna blame you If you wanna be you know what I mean? If you want to be same-sex marriage and no, that's on you. Just don't force it upon somebody else. You feel me? That's all we saying. You feel me? That is all we saying. We just want you to have enough respect for yourself, where you not uh, you not forcing your ideas onto somebody else. Respect yourself enough. Like I mean, come on, is that hard? Like I gave I gave niggas example after example after example. You feel me? People just don't respect 
other people so they feel like I can tell this person what to do. I can look down upon this person and it's okay for me to look down upon this person. You can't do that. You cannot. You don't even have the right to put your hands on somebody who doesn't want you to put your hands on them. Respect and accept that person's decision. If I tell you no, no means no. Accept it. Acceptance. You feel me? Just accept it for what it is. Like, why do people always feel like they have a right over somebody else? You got to come out of that ignorant thought, uh, mind of thinking. You do. That mind of thinking is ignorance. It's a lack of intelligence. You see, you, you, there's a lack of information. And just because most of people in society accept that kind of thinking doesn't make it right for you to even endure in that. You have the, you have the right to know better. Like, yeah, facts. You, 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 I have a technology in my hand right now where I can Google answers and I can actually find some decent answers. Yeah, they mad. But you have the right to want to know better. You have the right to find out what's truth and what's not truth. You don't have to settle. You don't have to settle for the misinformation out there. You don't have to be the person who wants to be in control of other people. You feel me? And it's okay. Like, you know what I mean? It's okay. Like, you see, the problem is, I found this a long time ago in New York City. Then I'm going to close the uh, topic. I realized I used to work as a cashier in uh, one of this, the store is basically closed down, but it was bought by Walgreens. And people were coming into my store being rude. And the lady told me, well, don't worry about it because they boss is rude to them. So they feel like when they come out the store, they got to be rude to somebody else. Or when they go into the house, they got to be rude to their kids because somebody is looking over them so they feel like when I get when I get my chance, I'm gonna be looking over somebody else. This is the concept of hurt people hurt people. So a person who's hurt is more likely to hurt other people too. So when you and whenever you see somebody hurting somebody, that is a habit that they've learned from somebody else that they couldn't do nothing about. So they feel like I can I'm going to hurt somebody else that I feel like they can't do nothing about it too. You feel me? That's what the concept of her. So when I saw that, I'm like, why this man being rude? The lady was like, don't worry. He, at, his boss is probably an asshole to him. So he's being an asshole to you. And he going to go home and he, he going to be an asshole to his kids. And if it affects you that much, guess what? You going to go home and you going to be an asshole to somebody else that you seem low too. You feel me? Just like those workers over there. They telling them, nigga, dig up, nigga. You feel me? Drill. So they mad right now. So they're going to be an asshole to me because they feel like somebody's being an asshole to them. You feel me? It's the position that you put yourself into. You feel me? Accept your position. Accept even that part. You still got to accept it. You feel me? You work your way up. Don't be bitter. That's all. You know what I mean? Don't be bitter, my nigga. Just accept people for who they are. That's so people who put their hands on other people or plan to do harm to other people or touch people without their concern or try to force the jab on other people, the vaccine, and try to force their ideas on other people or hurt people. They just hurt and they want to control over other people because somebody has control over them. And instead of fighting that giant that has control over them, they fighting other people. No, you don't fight other people. Go fight that giant that you're scared of. You feel me? You don't have to hurt somebody else because you hurt by somebody else. You don't. That cycle ends with me. You feel me? I already told you niggas already. It ends with me. I'm not going to hurt nobody else because y'all niggas trying to hurt me. No. It ends with me. But I got to go. I got two more minutes. You already know. The name of this video is called Acceptance. Accept people for who they are.